Welcome, one and all, to Toku Showcase, a video series where I, the Toku professor, introduce Japanese special effects series, both prominent and obscure, to new audiences in brief, easy to digest, informative videos. If you're new to the tokuzatsu genre, this is the series for you. And if you're already a Toku nerd, these are the perfect videos to share with your pals so they too can learn to appreciate the shows you love. And who knows, maybe you'll learn something too. Today we're looking at one of Japan's favorite superhero franchises, Toei's long-running Kamen Rider series, which revolutionized the tokusatsu genre and has remained immensely popular since its inception in the early 70s. So let's put three minutes on the clock and rider kick our way into a multiverse of motorcycle riding bug-eyed cyborgs. Loosely based on the works of famous manga artist Shotaro Ishinomori, the very first Kamen Rider season premiered on April 3rd, 1971. In the show, a motorcycle racer named Takeshi Hongo is kidnapped and transformed into a powerful grasshopper-themed cyborg by the mysterious terrorist organization Shocker, but he escapes and uses his powers for good to battle Shocker's animal-themed monsters called Kaijin in crazy action sequences throughout the course of the show. Going by the name Common, meaning masked, rider, the hero would undergo a transformation by activating a special belt powered by the wind, and would finish off his foes with his signature move, known as the rider kick. During filming for episode 10, the actor who played Hongo broke both of his legs while attempting a motorcycle stunt, which resulted in his character being temporarily replaced with a second Common Rider, with a similar backstory, now known as Common Rider 2. In episode 40, Kamen Rider 1 returned as the main protagonist, but 2 would occasionally show up to fight alongside him in partnered missions. The series lasted 98 episodes and heavily impacted the tokusatsu genre as a whole, with many shows copying its formula. A sequel series, Kamen Rider V3, began airing the week after the first show ended, and followed the adventures of the third Kamen Rider, who received his powers from the originals. Several more series, each about a new writer with different powers, would follow, some of which also proved to be quite popular, but over time new installments came out less frequently, and the franchise went almost completely dormant going into the 90s. The series' creator, Shotaro Ishinomori, began working on plans to revive the series in 1997, and helped get the ball rolling on the next production, Kamen Rider Kuga, but died before its successful release in January of 2000. A pseudo-sequel, Kamen Rider Ajito, came out the following year, and from then on, a new Kamen Rider show would release every single year, right up to today. These newer shows introduced several new concepts to the series which stuck, such as each new Kamen Rider living in a separate reality with different rules and villainous forces, and even different interpretations of what it means to be a Kamen Rider, most riders having access to alternate forms, each granting them different abilities, and more complex storylines. But many things have remained the same throughout the franchise's run. The riders transform using a belt after calling out Henshin and take on a group of supervillains and kaijin bent on world domination in exciting martial arts battles, often finishing them off with a rider kick. Almost all main riders get around by motorcycle, and their powers are usually linked to the series' villains in some way, but are used for good. Many of the shows feature darker themes, though the modern shows also try to appeal to younger kids more to drive toy sales. Finally, the writers from the various universes are often united, usually in movies, to take on even greater threats to their multiverse. And that's the Common Rider series in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Amen, lida, amen, lida, lida, lida.